channel. I have such a good surprise for you today. I'm so excited. I have this man, Chef Tigre. And mm -hmm. how do you pronounce it actually? Tigre. 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 It's a, if you do, if, even in French, it's, it's a tigre. 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 That's true. Tigre. That's true. So it could be French or Spanish. Do you speak French? Very little. Okay. Un petit peu. Like so minor. we're going to do the whole episode in French. Yes. He's going to no. lead it. No. And, <laughs> no. Oh. And okay, so what we're doing here today is, as you guessed by his name, he's a vegan chef. And I met Chef Tigre one day when I went to a, a dinner pop-up that he had at a friend's house. And he made this beautiful spread of absolutely delicious food, all vegan. And I asked him, I begged him to come on the channel and do an episode with me and just make something for you guys so we can demonstrate A, that vegan food is delicious and exciting and very accessible, mm. and B, to do kind of something different on the channel because I've done a couple smoothies, but those don't really count as cooking. So, <laughs> so I'm really excited mm. and I'm going to let you introduce, we're going to do a canapé. Yeah, a beet canapé. Yes. So instead <laughs> of typically a canapé is like, like a cracker or like a dry piece of bread or crostini, uh, though this way we're gonna have some fun keeping it because it's very heavy in terms of the fat because it has uh, some nuts in it and um, Why don't we say what the ingredients are? Yeah, so we have the beets is gonna be our canapé or instead of our bread oh. So it's like a raw dish. I'll put them back like Ooh, that's fine. I don't know if you can see all those but... And then we have we're gonna have the um, the base. It'll be a uh, creme fraiche Instead of heavy cream, it'll be sunflower seeds. Now are of these course. raw or? They are raw. Okay. They are raw, raw sunflower seeds. And not salted. No not salt. salted. Okay. Great. And then we have uh, a miso. If you want to do soy free, you could actually find a chickpea miso. Oh, interesting. I know, right? Fancy. Right. Um, <laughs> and then we have nutritional yeast, or a lot of people like to call it nooch. Nooch. Uh, in in the uh, in the circles. Yeah. And nutritional yeast, it's basically a inactive yeast for a lot of a cheesy flavor, some B vitamins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some pink salt or Himalayan salt. It's going to give a lot of schmancy minerals Fancy uh, versus salt. just white bleached. Uh, and then some raw garlic as well for Just that. Just a little. But we have well, we're going to not use all of them. Oh but. my goodness. Like 12 cloves in here. Here, why don't I just start eating those? Yes, go and ahead. And then I'll talk right in your yes. face. <laughs> and then we have some uh, raw pecans as well. Or pecans. 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 We'll say pecans in this household. I guess, lo I guess locally you can get some Georgia grown pecans. Yes. Anyway. Yes, we can. And yeah. then we have some right. arugula, uh, which will just be some freshness and some pepperiness for on top. And you guys, you can make it a salad as well. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, totally. So this and that's is it. Yay! Oh my right, gosh! We're done. Whoa! Bye. See ya. <laughs> and okay, we got the Vitamix. What's, yes. Um, what? It's the 500 professional. Yeah. So Vitamix. it's a Vitamix. It basically can turn anything, even broomsticks, into a powder or cream. Yeah. Um, and if someone doesn't have a high speed blender at home, you can definitely try it with the uh, like a Vitamix uh, equivalent, like a blend like a ninja. Tech, ninja. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah. you want to skip even another step, you can just go to like a, a local store and get like sun butter. Sunflower oh, seeds yeah. already in a butter. Yeah, yeah. You could even use cashew, cashew butter, almond butter, even peanut butter really if you want. Hmm. Uh, I just kept it to the sunflower seeds because if someone has maybe a peanut or, or a nut allergy, seeds yes. are still in that category. Yes. Of Actually, my cousin Shauna, hey Shauna, um, she is allergic to all kinds of nuts and soy actually, so. Yeah, so like she would, so she, she would, wouldn't do the miso. She could, she could find the, the chickpea, miso. chickpea miso, and instead of the pecans, you could use another seed like a, like a pumpkin seed. Okay. And you could roast it, pumpkin seed or pepitas. Pepitas. Maybe we'll make this when I come home for Christmas. Yes. This might be a good Yeah, and you could yeah. make it into, like I said, a sauce. So you can even make it for uh, an Alfredo. Yeah. Add some butter to it or veganaise. Veganaise. Sort of some creaminess, like a pasta salad. I'm very excited. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start making. Yeah, so super, super simple. Uh, like I said, you can skip this whole first step with if you buy the pre jarred sun, uh, sun butter or sunflower seed butter. It's going to be two cups of water. If you want a little thicker, one and three quarters, one and three quarters of water, or you could do two cups if you want it a little easier to blend. And then one cup of the seeds. I might just start alive. Sure. Um, yeah. Let's see. Alive. Yes. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. I'm going to try. Don't mind me over here. I'm going to start a live on YouTube and just see. Chef. And the nooch. So we're gonna do four tablespoons. And chef. It was one cup of sunflower seeds if you missed it. It's four tablespoons of that. You can definitely be generous. Rounded, overflowing. Wow, that's a lot of nooch. Four! One clove of garlic raw. Just a quarter teaspoon of the salt. If you don't want the salt, it's an option because the, the miso may have a little sodium already, so. 
can add even more to taste. And a full tablespoon of the miso. Miso is going to give it that. Uh, so classically, a creme fraiche is a heavy cream, and they add bacterial probiotics to it to culture it, kind of like, a, and they thicken it like a yogurt. So this is actually miso is active cultures. So we'll have that um, savory, like yogurty, cheesy sort of uh, flavor to it, and that'll give it that. If you want to use it for an Alfredo sauce, that cheesiness and the richness too. So if I wanted to use this. As an Alfredo. Yeah. You're not on camera, but I can put you on camera. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> there he is, the handsome chef. Um, what would I do beyond? Or do you want so to like you, no, wait you, until we're done? No, we can do, we can do it now and okay. we can discuss it later. Okay. Um, as is, mm -hmm. you can do it as an Alfredo. Oh, okay. It, it'll, as, as, you, as you heat it up, it'll even mildly will thicken up okay. as well already. Uh, if you want to make, uh, typically Alfredo is uh, butter and Parmesan. If you want to be super simple and right. some cream or some other things. So you can just add uh, like a vegan butter. Okay. And That's easy. like a tablespoon or so, and then toss, and then just toss the uh, noodles or such in it. And if you want to make an Alfredo pizza, instead of like, make a white pizza, you can use that instead of like a marinara, uh, a red sauce, and that'll be a, a good pizza as well. Or, okay. Whatever fancy like yeah. artichokes or pineapple. People think that's wrong, but it's okay. Um, and then we're just gonna blend it up. I think we have everything pretty much. So we got the, well, well, the beets are for later. So we're gonna yeah. Slice so it was the sunflower <laughs> seeds, the water, the miso, the nutritional yeast. Uh, the salt and then one garlic. garlic. Okay. If people are garlic like a holics, you can definitely just add two, three, or four. <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> so forgive the sound. She never did it with my Vitamix, mm. but here she is. I don't know. Your Vitamix must be better than my old one was. Maybe, yeah, it's a different frequency or something. Yeah, yeah, but she does that, so I thought I'd get her in the shot. <laughs> so yeah, so um, even though you're following any recipe, this could be for pretty much any recipe, when you use natural organic ingredients, like unlike white unbleached, like white bleached flour or like white flour, things like that, or white sugar, there's going to be some variants. And even kale, I bought kale the other day, and it tasted more like collards. So you have to adjust it. So sunflower seeds, the nutritional yeast, uh, the, uh, the miso, even the garlic could vary it. So you can always, you want to play with it. Uh, you'll develop some savvy over time. It just will taste something a little different or off or maybe unbalanced. Uh, so maybe we didn't need the salt or maybe more garlic, for example, something like that. So, it's kind of, so we always want to taste as you go. Oh my God, that's so good. So let me just see. <laughs> um, there you go. It's a little I didn't breathe on it. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little thin. Um, it is, but it tastes, I mean, that's fantastic. So at this point, like at this point you could use it, uh, really, this is perfect for a sauce. Yeah. Like if you want to use it for an Alfredo or oh, yeah. a pasta or a pasta salad. Uh, if you, but if you want it to have thicker, which we want to have it as, a, as a, an appetizer or an, an amuse bouche, uh, like a, a teaser, I'm going to add, just, I'm going to add another half a cup. That's why, that's why everyone who uses a Vitamix, you know, is paranoid, always has their hand on it. Yeah. Even though there's like secure things, you're like, I never trust it. <laughs> 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 are those important? Yes, they are very important. <laughs> once, I, once it's going though, I can't open it. So yeah. Oh yeah, you can either either reduce the water mm -hmm. um, or increase the amount of seeds to your desired thickness. Now some people, I know this is a total newbie question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. My dog keeps jumping on my legs, <laughs> so she makes oh, the, yes. um, Some people add like flour or like arrowroot or something to You can, you can use some other, um, even use like some molecular stuff, like xanthan gum, 
Xanthan okay. gum is something you could find pretty easily. Okay. You'll see a lot of like either bottled sauces or salad dressings will add xanthan yes. gum. Yes. And you just need very little, like a quarter of a teaspoon will actually keep it thicker. Okay. Uh, and okay. actually keep it from separating if you have it over a long period of time, not separating from the oils and the oh, water. Okay. So you can even, yeah. you can do, you can, you can even cheat some of them. Uh, there is some creme fraiche that they sell like conventionally to make it, to save on money to lower the fat content. It'll be oh. half the amount of fat oh. and they'll balance it with like, a carrageen and like things you they used to have in like a lot of nut milks yeah. or xanthan gum. Right, they don't do that so much anymore. Yeah, yeah so you can't thicken it. Okay, so I ask because adding the seeds may alter the flavor a little bit like what you were saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, not much. Xanthan it's, gum would actually not. It's yeah, neutral. yeah, or flour wouldn't, I don't know if you, anyone flour, does flour. Flour would, I guess, change the texture though. Flour, That's uncooked true. flour would almost make it yeah. almost like a pasty. That's true. Um, but I guess if you're if you're cooking it into a sauce, like an Alfredo sauce or, or cooking it, yeah. like a roux would just be fat and flour, you could add it and if you're cooking it, because raw, raw flour wouldn't be so awesome. And you can cook this, right? You can, you can totally. Add, like mm -hmm. just heat it up or yeah, you can actually heat it up. cook it for a while? You can actually, as you're, as you're, let's say you cook your pasta, mm -hmm. you boil your pasta and then you can actually p keep it in a pan or the pot right. after you drain it, it in, yeah. and just pour it right over it okay. and then just warm it up as if okay. like, like a mac and cheese, you kind of add the cheese to it and just melt it in. Um, but yeah, right. and thicken to your desire. Very good. Very good. <laughs> you can, I guess you can make a pesto if you want to get yeah. super cool. I mean, uh, you could add basil to it, uh, oh, fresh yeah. basil, and then it'll be, fun. it'll be basically a pesto. Okay. Because the pesto I make has a very similar ingredients. It'll have the miso, uh, it'll have the nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. and then you'll add, um, instead of, I can, you can even use hemp seeds instead of pine nuts yeah. for a little bit more of a superfood okay. uh, punch to it. But then you'll have a basil, a basil sauce. To by just basically adding uh, fresh, fresh basil. That sounds or, really good. You could add dried basil, but fresh has that yeah. nice color. Oh yeah, I like fresh, yeah. yeah. So let's just recap. We did the sunflower seeds and miso. Yes. Tons and tons of garlic. <laughs> Eight cloves, no. <laughs> and um, nooch, nutritional yeast. Actually, if you want to, yeah. Um, and then we have... The pink salt. Pink salt. And we're gonna save these for putting it all together. Yeah, and water to and water to blend. Yeah, water to, and you used you used two cups of water. I used two cups. Um, all you you can use more or less depending on the thickness or what you want to use it for. Because right. I want it thicker so I can yeah. actually plate it properly. You remember these little little bad boys? I yeah. do. They're like shaped like leaves. Yes. And they're compost water. Yeah, they're made yeah. from bagasse, uh, sugarcane. Really? Sugarcane, probably the pulp from sugarcane pulp. So they're compostable uh, cool. and totally biodegradable, which is really cute. Uh, there is, you can get them online. The place that I got was Web, Websterant. Websterant. Oh, that's cute. And then you can, I'm sure you could find them at other places, but I like the fact that they're biodegradable. Sugarcane, sugarcane is, is super renewable because mm -hmm. uh, they're going to use that even for organic sugar or other sugars as well. Uh, we're going to get our schmancy beets. So while you are plating, I'm going to step back a little bit. Yeah. Um, can you, you were at Veg Fest yesterday. Yes. So what were your takeaways from Veg Fest? It was really, it was really fun to see. Yeah. Um, how busy it was? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... They had some. Some vendors said they had, I think, six thousand visitors wow. in one day. Uh, that was. She only had food prepared for five hundred, so she was sold out wow. within like the first few hours. People were coming by, and she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I was sold out." Wow. Ah! And it was. They had some fun entertainers. There was a guy, Gray, uh, Gray Music. He was he, there. He has that song. That's the guy like, I wanted my YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the, the vegan Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, yes, yes, potatoes, yeah, potatoes, yeah. potatoes, 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 yeah. Wait, greens, 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 beans, beans potato, um, potato, 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 whatever. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, bread, That's what I got. Beans, greens, potatoes, I ain't fucking with the chicken. No, sir, baby. Is he from Atlanta? I have to know he's this lo because he's I need to go hunt him down. He's local. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and knock on his door in the middle of the night. Yeah, he's working on a new album now, and his, his la last song that he played yesterday was plant, plant based dripping. <laughs> Can you Over sing that one? No. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh. It'll be somewhere. Bummer. You can put a link to it. <laughs> I will. I will. Okay. Yeah, it was really, it was really so, crazy seeing all those people. Yeah. And right. like, oh. Uh, so we have the uh, the canapé or our beet bread uh, and a raw and a raw sort of option for people. You can use an actual canapé or bread or or any other delivery, but I kind of like the freshness of it because the since the cream is so heavy. Yeah. And we have our. Ooh, what is that? Through the magic of. It's going to be, this is our, so this is our, I just have a little way to nice dispense it. Oh, you so can you definitely can... just put it in um, any container, but I kind of like this little, 
Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so catchy. I was singing. I don't. I sing potatoes for all day long. So here's the sunflower. Creme fresh. That, oh my god. Very so it's very savory, uh, with the miso and the garlic, the salt, the nutritional yeast. Mm -hmm. And then it has a nice tang to it, but it's yes. not overly tang. Yeah, almost like that cheesy sour creamy yeah, kind of taste yeah, to yeah. it. Uh, if you want to keep it as a seed and not a nut uh, option, uh, you can use like I said, like a pumpkin seed. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and use pecans. I think pecans are really great. They have like a very rich earthiness to them. I'm gonna add some crunch and texture to kind of balance the softness of the beet uh, and the creaminess of the Oh, cream. you know, the other thing I wanted while you're doing yeah, this, yeah. keep going, but you are self-taught. Yes, right? yeah, so, so I, start, I started off as... All this he knows from teaching himself. Just, I love food, and when I first uh, went vegan or even just first started cooking for myself, I was just doing, you know, package ramen, hunger men, dinners, or yeah. canned or frozen food, so eventually, um, I just want to have some really good food. I miss a lot of the food um, that I made growing up. So, so what brought you to Atlanta? So I moved to Atlanta. Um, heard the vegan scene is pretty cool here. Yes. Also, I love the well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> and the independent film. Yes. Oh, it's, that is great. Yeah. yeah so the yeah. kind of this is kind of a fun way to also conv combine food and yeah. film as well. So we have our base. Like you could also use pumpkin seeds as well, or you could even use um, another sauce if you like. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have it just a top of you know, some arugula. I love everything. Arugula is giving it a little bit more freshness mm -hmm. and it's going to have a little pepperiness and a little bit more of a, some greens. And it's a fun one bite meal mm -hmm. or a mousse or a tease. Uh, yeah, so woohoo! Do you want to partake? Yes, I would. Jen, why don't you come in here and partake with us? <laughs> do you want to? Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, I do! I didn't know I was going to be on camera. <laughs> Oh, darling. Jen is, uh, has been running the camera today and she is a fellow actress. That's how I know her and met her. And I've asked her to DP today for us so that Yay. we can get all this wonderful footage. Cheers. 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 Yay. Yay. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. It is amazing. I can tell you from advanced experience. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. You said you had a girlfriend, right? That's but so creamy. You can marry me anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think no states in America anyway. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> move over to you, Chef. Mm. And I love those things. They're mm. so cute. They are cute. Well, I'm gonna give you a little bit of beat, okay? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Totally. Yeah. I mean, I'll give her a little. That's so cute. <laughs> the most spoiled Chihuahua in the world, right here. Some little fun fact: beets are good for. Um, for, cir for circulation as well. Oh, what? Because they help, they help, they help encourage nitric oxide production, which is helps with butt f blood flow. Butt flow. Blood. <laughs> butt flow. And it helps yeah. with butt flow. Yeah, well, I guess if you eat enough, <laughs> it does help with the with your movements. <laughs> so we're just gonna make it into a salad and show how you can present it that way. Thickened up since it's been a little bit, yeah. So as it cools off, because yeah. the vitamins will uh, heat it up a little bit, and you can just add some of the the beets to it. Very good. So, okay. And now, how long have you been a chef? I've been cooking for as a, as a vegan for since two thousand and four. Okay. So mostly through dinner parties, fundraisers, charity events, yeah. um, mostly is the background. And you do, you still do pop-ups in Sometimes, Atlanta. I still do pop-ups, pop um, have a dinners at people's homes, yeah. and we serve like three or four course, like, like how we met. Right, right, but right, yeah. yeah. So if you're living in Atlanta, actually, why don't you say where people can find you online? Even if they're not in Atlanta, they yeah, will uh, find you. Yeah, online, Facebook is pretty much where I do most of my presence. Facebook and Chef Tigre is where I am, Instagram as well. Okay. C H E F T I G R E. <laughs> so you should definitely find him, and if you're in Atlanta, check him out and find out when his pop-up dinners are because it's it's pretty reasonable price, and you're getting all this fantastic food. It's all vegan. It's really healthy. A lot of it's raw. You do cooked food too, though. I right? do cooked food. Yeah. I I focus a lot on uh, whole foods, mm -hmm. like not a lot of refined sugars, not a lot of oils added, yeah. things like that, and gluten free is is pretty easy yeah. as well. This is fantastic. And then garlic, garlic, oh, garlic. Yeah. Lots, <laughs> lots of garlic. <laughs> Thank 
you. <laughs> I love having friends like this. <laughs> I mean, not just for the food. I, yes, yeah. for the food, but, <laughs> okay, honest, but, but you inspire people who are like, vegan, what do you eat as a vegan? Like, I have people ask me that. Well, isn't it hard? Yeah. What do you eat? Do you eat salad? All right, this is a salad. But I mean, we, Good made, one. A, <laughs> we made finger foods earlier, and there are many other things you can show us. So yeah. it's it just kind of touches me if I can gush a little bit because I feel like you are doing work that not only nourishes people but shows them that this is easy, it's good, it's creative, yeah. it's not just celery. Like, yeah. there's so many things. It's really eat. simple uh, for an average person. They can cook pasta yeah. or rice uh, or quinoa uh, and then just have the sauce in a bottle in the fridge. You can even freeze some portions if you don't yeah. think you're going to eat it all at once. But yeah, and then just add the sauce to it and then you're pretty much good. Well, thank you, Chef Tigre. Check him out and um, leave me some questions below. If you have any questions actually about cooking, raw or cooked food, then I will hand them over to Chef Tigre or just go find him on Facebook or on Instagram. And if you have any suggestions on other dishes you want him to feature when he comes back, <laughs> <laughs> Leave me a suggestion below and just let me know what you think. So thank you so much for joining us for this episode. I really appreciate your being here. And thank you again for coming on. And I'm going to eat the F out of this salad right now. Potatoes, so. potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Greens, potatoes. beans, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> we'll see you next time. What you know I got? Greens, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, chicken, chicken. What you got, baby?